All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rachakudash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to the sense of Akim Adar is pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, and charity. This is your brother Ajman of Great Millstone, Miami Kim, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah. Hello, and this video is edifying. Okay, uh, in this lesson, I'm going to just. Uh, Prove, show and prove that so-called Negroes, all right, so-called Negroes, so, which are so-called African Americans, as well as so-called Haitians, as well as so-called West Indians, all right, make up the Southern Kingdom, and you could call Jews, which the word Jew comes from Judah. Okay, and the so-called African American, the so-called black man here in America is the tribe of Judah. They are the descendants of the man Judah, one of the twelve sons of the tribe of, of the man Israel. Okay, the man Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel. And I'm gonna prove that, which has already been proven through the spirit in many ways. But I'm just going to show with some art that I came across here in a park in Miami. Okay, and forgive me for the wind, I'm, I'm still at the park on the water. Okay, spirit hopped on me. And, uh, you know, as I was getting out of the car, I was like, Lord, will I do a lesson? And then I'm walk past this artwork and I'm like boom there you go right there okay they have these two chairs which is like are like thrones basically and and it's mosaic you know mosaic artwork is where they cut tiles and cut different colored tiles and you know glue them together to make art so they have three thrones one for so-called Negroes or so-called black people, right? One throne for so-called Cubans, which we know are the tribe of Manasseh. They are not Jews, but they are of the nation of Israel, okay? Which I didn't take a picture of, of the one for Cuba or so-called Cubans, which are, again, the tribe of Manasseh, which means, first and foremost, Judah in the Hebrew, Yahawadah, which means Yahweh thanks, right? Yahweh's praise. Manasseh in the Hebrew, Manashah, mean made to forget. Okay. I'm not talking about the tribe of Manasseh in, in detail in this lesson because I just want to compare and contrast though the, the, the true Jews versus they that call themselves Jews and are not. Okay, as it is written in, as, as our Lord Yahweh said, Revelation 2 and 9, as well as Revelation 3 and 9, right? But are the synagogue of Satan. I'm going to show with this artwork, even in this artwork, you can see <laughs> who the true Jews are and, and you know, it, uh, they that call themselves Jews are not really. Okay, so first we have this throne. This seat, this one is for obviously this one. So I'm guessing the artwork is uh, dedicated towards, you know, the top demographics uh, of people, top uh, ethnicities. Basically, you will find in the Miami, right? Which, if you know anything about Miami, is 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 ran by Manasseh and Amalek, and mainly Amalek and Manasseh. Okay. Um, and of course you got plenty uh, Judites out here, but they don't really run shit. Okay, they got a lot of uh, hood, <laughs> hood power if you say so, right? And even then, uh, we know that ain't no real power, but but it's a lot of them out here. Okay, of course a lot of Levi. I'm, I'm surprised they don't got one for Levi, which basically this, this is you could put Judah, Benjamin, and Levi in this category, right? But um, obviously, first thing you see at the bottom, you have the Holy Bible, 
right? So all these different artworks is obviously supposed to, you know, different pictures within this throne is supposed to represent different uh, aspects of so-called black cultures, okay? Here in America, here in the West, they showing, so they had to display the Holy Bible. Why is that? Because, you know, through the spirit, we are the people of the book, right? And our people have had a, had a big influence uh, of course, all the influence of our life is, is from the scriptures because we are the people of the book. So, we, you know, our life is scripted. Your life as an Israelite is scripted. Like how they have uh, Esau be writing these uh, scripts within it. the Simpsons and them predictive programming and whatnot, or even predictive programming with a lot of these sports. The sports is scripted. It's already set for, for this team to get this many points on this day and to go to the championship, right? Well, your life is scripted. You brothers out there, you sisters out there, your life is scripted, which we already know that, right? And that goes in an individual level and that goes for us as a nation on a, on a national level, okay? Uh, uh, it was scripted for us to come here through, through uh, cargo slave ships, which they show at the top, okay? They got this famous picture, which I can't tell you who, who drew it, but I remember it because it has the uh, the saying on top, am I not, which you can't really see it clearly, but I saw it says, am I not a man and brother? If you can see around his head, it's written. Dig on the next picture, you can see it. The next picture I took, you can see it more clearly. All right? Am I not a man and brother? Because <laughs> slavery, it, it robbed us of, of humanity. We were treated like animals. All right? That's that's how the so-called white man treat us here in America. Like, probably they said, what, we was three-fifths of a man. Right? But off the rip, they show you that this is part of our history. This is something we can't escape. This is a part of us. Anytime you want to speak on so-called Negroes in America, you got to bring up this topic because this is where we come from. This is this is our this is a, a key part of our history that we can't escape, and it still follows us to this day. You got uh, a lot of these so-called white people like to say, "Oh, white privilege is not real." Uh, you know, this is a fair land and. That was so long ago, you need to forget it. You got a lot of our people that, that think like that too. But this whole event was scripted. And we're gonna we're gonna show you in the scriptures that it was in the Bible written before it was uh even set into motion. This cause this was a, a worldwide uh organization, a worldwide trade. Trans, that's called so called transatlantic slave trade. This was big business. A lot of people got rich, extremely wealthy off this. And they, and and the wealth still is here to this day with their uh descendants. Alright. And also I want to show on the back of this, they got this part I want to highlight. See, big, it says religion. That's supposed to be a church, right? It says, do you pay for salvation? And then they have pigs on the side showing you what that church is an abomination, right? And you have to pay these, these so-called Christian churches. But today, that's a big part of the black community. That's a stronghold that's on the black community. That's another thing that we can't uh, gloss over when you're having a uh, conversation of why our people are the way they they are in today here in this nation here in this uh, so-called United States of America it's, it's Christianity plantation Christianity which was force fed to us by the so-called white man during uh, chattel slavery right and now our people force it on each other that, that was a uh, Part of the psychological operation to keep 
us in a slave mentality to keep us from not wanting to break free. And now these, we all know these uh, different church pastors, they all sold out. They all got 501c3. They all uh, preaching the doctrine of the devil for money, okay? That's why every time you, you see a, a black movie and they, they bring up the conversation of, of Christianity, it's always in a mocking manner because everybody knows that this the, the black church is the biggest joke going, except for black Christians. Everybody outside of black Christian knows that black Christianity is a joke. Christianity itself is a joke, especially black Christianity. And also, what I wanted to show on the front, I, I skipped over, all right? They had to show the, the checkerboard with the chess pieces. Why did they show that? Right? Because if you, if you, if you look up, uh, uh, chess, they're not going to say it originated in Africa. Right? But why are they showing it? Because this is a, this is a shout out to, to the Freemasons. Which control our people through various ways. And of course, it's, it's Amalek as well. Right? With the duality, the black and white. That's why when you go to the hood, you see a bunch of uh, Freemason temples. I know I do down here. Okay. Also with those false churches, a lot of these different pastors, black pastors, they were all Freemasons. A lot of them. Okay. So now let's move on to Amalek. This first thing, you see the checkerboard at the bottom, right? But there's just a bunch of letters. It might be some uh, enchantments written in these, right? But theirs have a lot less detail. It looks weird, it looks different, right? It's not really that much lively, not that many colors, and there's not that much going on, <laughs> really. You got a bird, they got a woman, right? But one thing you can't skip over, one thing you can't not see is right at the top, what do you see? The, the cube, which is not black. They left it the middle color, but we know that's the black cube. The black cube of Saturn, you can clearly see it. This is what their so-called uh, rabbis and whatnot rap on the head when they when they uh, doing their, their witchcraft. <laughs> Okay, and of course they got the nine candle menorah, which that's not in the scriptures. That's nowhere in the Bible. Okay, <laughs> where they get that from? And there's not really much else on it. There's no, there was no uh, scrolls. How come theirs didn't have the Holy Bible on it? I, and there's no, they have no scrolls. They had a dude on the back. They had like some six pointed stars. Right, but they got that black cube, right? Which let's just pull it up. Right, black cube of Saturn. If you look at the, the planet Saturn, it has like a six pointed, they call a, a red a spot, I believe. But they have like a, if you look at it through a telescope, you can see it's an uh, actual cube on the planet Saturn. And this goes back to the ancient world. The, the worship of this black cube, same thing with Islam, showing you that all the religions are controlled. They have the black cube symbolism within within Amalek and Ishmael because both sides are controlled. This third world war that's brewing is, is controlled by Freemasons on both sides. Right? Look up Albert Pike. And again, they had the checkerboard on the on the on the Judahite one. So, you know, they put these things right in our face. 
and it's it's and and it doesn't take a biblical scholar to see who truly aligns who as a nation who as a people actually fit the scriptures in terms of the prophecies that are uh, pertain to the nation of Israel okay Deuteronomy 28 it's gonna get straight to it Deuteronomy 28 and 68 and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships all right Egypt Egyptos in the Greek let's go back to the Hebrew Matazarium right Matazarian meaning uh, double straights, meaning you're in a tight position, which represents slavery. Okay. You, you also see the, the 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 iron, the chains. You got the chains on the man, right? And at the very top, they got some more chains. The scriptures speak about that in these curses. Uh, matter of fact. Deuteronomy 28 and 45 Moreover all these curses shall come upon thee And shall pursue thee and overtake thee Till thou be destroyed Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God To keep his commandments and his statutes Which he commanded thee Right So this is because of our wickedness as a people That's the reason we going through it. All we going through And it, it stems back all, It stems back all the way To when the Lord delivered us from Egypt People been going off since day one. So, uh, as it is written in Nahum, the second chapter, ye are, uh, you have, are the only nation I know, roughly paraphrasing. Therefore, I will judge you for all your iniquities. This, the well, how how uh, uh, verse forty six, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. So this is a sign. Who, the people that are going through these different curses that's the sign that those are the real Israelites we don't need a DNA test if you need a DNA test to prove it then 9 times out of 10 you're not an Israelite because you think it carnally, you think it like a devil you, you're not a child of faith which the Israelites are, are people of faith they're spiritual people they don't need concrete evidence not the elect of Israel to believe this truth right so I'm jumping back down again to 68 and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships how come that how come slavery with ships was not on the Amalekite throne <laughs> the Amalekite chair it had nothing to do with that right but it was on the the, the so-called Negro throne as a part of their history a part of their you know culture if you will by the way whereof I spake unto thee thou shalt see it no more again and there you shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women that's slaves bond men and bond women right and did they not <laughs> right they got the man and the woman See that? So a woman, they, they got it too. And no man shall buy you, meaning free you from sleep, buy you out of sleep. Okay? Because we're still here in captivity. We are yet this day in our captivity. Okay? But we do know the kinsman redeemer, Yahweh Shai, is coming back to buy the elect, which he already paid for him in his own blood. And he's coming back to get them, to freedom. And that starts with the elect. Because they are the only ones that believe in him, that trust in him. Okay. So that's that's pretty much it. Just, you know, I didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to show show that, man. Okay, these are these are simple things, as the scriptures say, his ways are plain unto the holy. So are they stumbling blocks to 
to, to the wicked of paraphrasing. So with that, I'm going to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh. Bahashem, Yahweh, Shabbat Shalom, Bahashem, and to the next one, Shalom.